Welcome back to the Yossi Homestead. I'm Donald and uh, as you can see, we are still in the shop. We've gotten back from a trip recently. We take a trip about once a month out to uh, uh, do some contract work and uh, I take my tool bag with me. And the reason why I take my tool bag with me is because, well, when you're out there working pretty much in the middle of nowhere, you have to rely on yourself. You can't rely on others. So I bring my tool bag with me. I'm gonna do a tool bag dump because it's time to clean this thing out because it's just gathered other stuff from other jobs that I've done. And I don't always need to take certain tools with me. So let's dump this out and uh, go through it. Put it back together the way it should be. Follow along. Here it is. This tool bag, uh, it weighs uh a lot but we're going to be dumping it out so let's start scrunch another scrunch two different scrunches we'll go over that tire pressure gauge diagonal cutters hex keys small flathead screwdriver so oh yeah that nines Pliers, needle nose pliers, small, adjustable. Another, huh, I already see a problem there. Flashlight. Yep, still works. Wire, ooh, these are my good wire cutters. Another needle nose plier. What's that? Electrical tape. Adjustable wrench, another adjustable wrench. This is a new tool. Socket, impact socket, another impact socket, and another impact socket. Voltometer, multimeter, canvas bag. I'll show you what that is. Another canvas bag, and another canvas bag. Another adjustable wrench, another channel lock, and, uh, and apply, uh, vice grips, and another adjustable wrench. Hey! Yeah. And I'm gonna have to get out the nail nose for here. Well, as you can see, there's a lot in this bag. So let's uh, go over it one by one and figure out what's going back into the bag. As you can see, I had a couple duplicates. I'm not happy about that because that makes this bag weigh more than what it should. It makes it hard to carry and uh, work with. So let's go through this one by one. Multimeters, why did I have two? I'll tell you exactly why. We'll set those there for right now. Adjustable wrench.
two small flathead screwdrivers. Tire pressure gauge. Impact sockets. Hex keys. Wire cutters. Screwdrivers. Flashlight. Scrunches. The other adjustable wrench. Wire cutters. Oh. Canvas bags. The canvas bags are a way to compartmentalize some of the tools that I have. So for instance, this one right here, the green one, if I open it up, we'll find in here a small socket set. 3 8 drive uh, and sockets. And these are like a 12 point socket. And it looks like metric is in here. Nope, and standard. It's a mix between metric and standard. That's a keeper. We're going to keep that in our tool bag. So bring our tool bag back here. Pop that back in. Boom. Yellow canvas bag. This yellow canvas bag is full of screwdrivers. So I got flathead, I got some Torx in here, it looks like. And of course I got our trusty Phillips P2, Phillips head two. And then of course this is the uh, flathead. Let's see here. Got a, a T20 in here for some reason. Uh, I guess, it, you know, it came with a kit. That's probably why. Look at this. What do we have here, guys and gentlemen? Another number two. Another number two Phillips. Why do I have two number two Phillips in here? This one goes back in the toolbox here in the shop. And see here, what do I got here? Trash. Two. One's going back in the shop. One goes to the back of the camp. Uh oh, oh, okay, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so there we go. I do not got any duplicates in there, but hold up. What do we have here? This is Klein Tools Flip. It, it, I, don't, I don't remember what they call it. Uh, it doesn't say on here, um, but so it's adjustable in length. So that locks in and I just pull this tab. Uh, I pull the tab back and I can pull it out and now it's a longer screwdriver and I push it back in and I can push it back in and make it short. Flat head on one side, Phillips on the other. Why do I need these other two in here. There we go. Philip, uh, Phillips and Flathead right there. But then again, dang it. Hold up. Look what I found. Flathead. And Phillips. This also has a 5 16 and a 3 8 nut driver on it also. This is like a, a new uh, tool that they that Klein makes. Picked it up the other day on a whim. Uh, it also has a ratcheting screwdriver. This one's going in but I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep the other one as well 
you never know when you may need two screwdrivers or something like that or if I lose one so that's gonna go in the screwdriver canvas bag zip that up I got these two screwdrivers here one of these came with uh, uh, either my chainsaw or my weed whacker. I think this came with my weed whacker. I got a steel weed whacker, and that goes out with us when we go out. So I don't need two of these, do I? I mean, if I lose one, maybe. So one is going to stay in the shop. This one goes into the canvas bag. All right, the other canvas bag. It's the great canvas bag. Let's open it up and see what we got in here. A set of wrenches. And these are not just cheap wrenches. These are the nice ones that have a ratcheting boxed in. The boxed in wrench, the open end wrench. Uh, this is 11 16 It looks like all of these are the Standard sizes, yes. All these are standard sizes, no metric in here, but I'm okay with that. So all the wrenches go into this canvas bag. We will zip that up, along with the screwdriver bag, both of them going in the tool bag. Man, this is already, this is light. All right, back to the table. All right, so back at our inventory here, I got four adjustable wrenches, three channel locks, one vice grip, two hex key sets, and there may be a reason for that. Two adjustable pliers, two needle nose pliers, wire cutter still, and scrunches. All right, so I know I specifically bought these for this tool bag. They're going back in. Spanner, it's a spanner wrench. It's still an adjustable. This one's, a, it does metric and standard sizes, okay? Awesome. So I bought this for that bag too. And the reason why is because of this right here. This is to help you line up stuff like that, are, that have to go into a slot. Uh, or, you know, it's called a spanner wrench for some reason. I don't know why I call it spanner. I have to look that up. But uh, tell, let me know, put down in the doobly doo exactly why this is called a spanner wrench. But uh, this is going back in the bag. Two sets of slip jaw wrenches, uh, uh, pliers, slip jaw pliers. All right, so I bought this originally for the bag. You know, it's just a small one, keep the, light, light, uh, keep the weight down. And then I bought this one because, well, I needed a bigger plier. Both, I'm going to go ahead and put both these back in the bag. This one's going to go back to the shop toolbox. Nail nose pliers. Two of them. Why do I have two of them? I don't know why. I originally bought this for the bag. This one ended up in here somehow. This one goes back shop tool, tool, toolbox. This one goes back in the bag. Pliers. I originally bought this for the bag, actually. So these came as a set. So this one's going back in the bag. And this one, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, my wife bought this. Leah probably bought this for her tool bag, and it ended up in mine somehow. So that's going into her bag. Revisit this. This. So this uh, uh, was my dad's adjustable wrench. I know that because he put his initials in it. A little, a little bit of sentimental to me, but I don't need it in the bag. I got enough adjustable wrenches in here. This goes back in the, in the shop toolbox. Diagonal cutters and nines with cutters on them. Both these are going back in the bag. You never know when you may need a little bit of leverage from the nines. 
and you still need maybe cut smaller stuff. So back in the bag they go. The scrunches, Y2. One of these is for our weed whacker. As you can see, it has a Torx on the end of it instead of a, it has Torx on the end of it instead of a flathead, flathead screwdriver. This is for the weed whacker. So yes, this goes with us. This one's for the chainsaw. Yes, this goes with us still. Vice grips. I don't think I need these. Let me know if I'm wrong, okay? Let me know if I'm gonna, it's gonna bite me in the butt later. Goes back in the shop toolbox. Ah, hex keys. All right, so I have two sets of hex keys here. Uh, one is metric, the other is standard. So, yes, but I have a crap ton here in the shop. Let's go. I thought I had another set of these, but in standard, but apparently I don't. I was gonna say this would, better be, this would be better to carry. I mean, it's more, com it's more compact than this is. So for right now, these are both going back in the bag. I'm gonna see if I can pick me up another set of these compact ones. So, but for right now, both of them go back in the bag. So. That may not be so secure. Higher pressure gauge, that goes back in the bag. These are my good wire cutters. I don't think these are gonna go back in this bag. However, These will. It's a cheaper pair. I don't really don't care what happens to them. It still has uh, it still has all uh, from 0.9 gauge. Actually, excuse me, 0.9 millimeter. Uh, the wire gauge size I can't read. Uh, to 55 millimeter. Ooh. Don't know how. I don't know how. What is what is a millimeter? Okay. Uh, and it has the crimper still, so it can crimp terminals. This will go in the bag instead. And remember, this bag is just to get me out of a bind, really. Flashlight, that goes back in the bag. I don't know why. Uh, I've never used it. But I do have that one screwdriver that has the, the um, it, can, it can be used on. But all this is, is it, has a, it does have a square, it has a couple square bits in it. Now, impact sockets. Okay, so the reason why I have these in there is because one, I'm going out to the middle of nowhere and I have an impact wrench. I take the impact wrench with me, why? so I don't have to use the four-way or a lug wrench. Use the impact wrench with the impact drivers. Uh, with the, use the impact sockets with the impact wrench. Easier to change a tire. But why do I have three? I have four tires on the truck, four tires on the trailer. Truck and trailer, uh, they are different sizes. So I have a 22 millimeter here. Yeah. 13 sixteenths, and then I bet you this one's another 13 sixteenths. Uh, no, 21. <sighs> Why? I don't know, but these are going back in the bag because you never know when you may have to change a tire. 
you know what, I need to find out which size. I don't need all three. Why? Voltmeter, voltometer. I don't know why two were in here, except for the reason that could have been. The only reason I can think there was two multimeters in there was because I, ha I needed one and I didn't look in the bottom of the bag. Why do you need one? I'll tell you why here in a second. But let's put one back. Uh, let's put both these. Uh, see, I got a Fluke 117 and a, a Fluke 15. B plus. I don't know the difference in the models. I mean, they all do the same stuff, uh, except that, oh, this one does capacitance. Well, this one doesn't. So I think this one is going to go in here because there's, no, there's really going to be no reason I'm checking a capacitor out in the field on a brush hog or something like that. So this one goes back to the shop, stays in the shop. This one goes in back into our bag. Well, there you have it, gentlemen. It's actually a lot lighter now. So let's set that to the side and look at the tools that we're putting back in the shop. Electrical tape. Never know when I may need it. There you have it, boys. It's a lot of weight right there uh, that I'm shaved off the bag. So, hey, if you made it all the way through this, please give this video a like, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when I post another video. And uh, I'll keep making more of these as long as I get a like. So, you know what, tell you what, go ahead and like it right now. I got time, I can wait. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, clicking that. All right. Thanks for watching. Keep us in your prayers. See you on the next video.